and welcome back to another Week in Review. Welcome to Wisconsin Shoe Guy. Here we do unboxing videos, we discuss general shoe knowledge, we do worth the price videos as shoe reviews, and we will do shoe battles uh, comparing shoe to shoe so that you can understand the differences. I also speak to experts in the field. In a week with very little sun, it was very difficult to get good pictures. Here you see some Shell Cordovan 2210s from Alden. It was, uh, again, really hard to get a good picture of the shell. Uh, here we have the Patrio Adelaides uh, in Hatch Grain. Uh, again, with no sun, it's hard to see, but they're just beautiful shoes. Um, here, my flash went off because it's getting dark so early. The 106596s from Meerman. As we go down here, we have the St. Crispin's Mod 646. Uh, I just love these shoes and the way the Russian grain catches the light, even when it's very little light. Another example of Shell Cordovan, this is in green. Uh, I call this British Racing Green. I'm not sure what they called it, by Alan Edmonds Leeds. Uh, here we have the Carmina 801-805 in rain. I got these from Mastrop, back when it was called Mastrop. Here's the uh, 80610 Simpson. This is an MTO that I did with Llama, Grain, and Vitello Calf. And here we have my Edward Green Dovers on the 202 last. And then this is a new one also, the Macariello Valerius, uh, in, uh, which is part of the Eris line. Then we have the October 10th, the OT15. Great toe plates on these. Then the October 10th, OT01. Uh, this we did with suede and leather, also with these great toe plates. And then here we have the Yosal Thompson. Uh, a really cool sole on these. Love the way they do the fiddle back. Then Palo Scafora, the 646, in beautiful nat calf suede. Uh, then we have the Carmina 80814 Forest. Just love the way the shoe comes together with a combination leather and rubber sole. Here is the Allen Edmonds Del Rey in dark chili. Here is the John Lobb Drift in a Moorland grain calf. Bresciani socks, those are new as well. Um, here we have the TLB Nolan with Carmina socks. Here we have the Carmina 532. This is in a uh, natural uh, Chrome XL. Then we have the Allen Edmonds Walton. Here's what's arrived this week. So this is the Yosal Thompson. This is an MTO I ordered a long time ago. Uh, this is in hatch grain. It's a split toe. I got it in the BX7 last, which is a little bit more rounded than most of mine. I like to do chisel lasts with split toes, but I uh, thought the way this came out was really nice. Uh, really beautiful work on the sole, uh, on, the, on the stitch here, on the vamp. Uh, the way they've done the apron on these is just really nice. The reverse on the, the split toe is okay. Uh, certainly not my favorite, but I feel like they did a pretty good job overall. As I look at them, I just really love the way the hatch grain catches the light. And then I'm very excited about my Edward Green Dover. This was an eBay find. Uh, looks like they've had a, about 10 wears or so, very little. Uh, you can see there's a little bit of creasing here before I wore them. Uh, but very little. Um, and then as you uh, take a look at some of the later picks when I'm wearing them, you'll be able to see kind of how much they've broken in just for me, just in the few hours that I've worn them. Uh, so they're, um, and this is, a have I'd worn them a couple hours by this point. You can see, um, you know, it's really forming to my foot really well. Uh, the vamp is fitting really well. Just great shoes. And then these are loafers. I really sized down almost too much on these. Uh, went down to a nine and a half instead of a 10. My other Macariellos are 10 and a half. So this was kind of a, an experiment in sizing and uh, really pushing my foot into them. Uh, loafers are weird for me. I've never really been able to get a loafer that fit well. And so, you know, trying to get these, they, they, they sit high on the vamp, as you can see. And then here's updates on where I'm uh, looking at uh, uh, shoes that I bought last year. This, this week, we're going to feature the Allen Edmonds Walton. 
Uh, you know, this shoe is really, I mean, this was a factory second that I bought during a, a factory visit up there and really happy with the way these are aging. The coffee uh, um, color at Allen Edmonds is very much uh, similar to the, um, the, the Anane Vegano Calf. I've really been very impressed with these shoes and they've really held up very well. So what's new in the pipeline? Well, funny enough, this week you'll see the pipeline's just gotten smaller. Nothing new. But I did add some things to the what's next. Actually, I have um, uh, this pair of boots on the left there is an MTO that I'm looking at with Enzo Bonifay. And uh, excited to see where it goes.